Hey there and welcome to Japan Online. Well, a question I've been received, uh, I've received over the last uh, few weeks, months, uh, is can you fly your drone in Japan uh, and Tokyo? Um, and I'll get to that a little bit later in the video, but first I just want to explain the video that you're watching at the moment. Uh, I've, uh, I've had a, a drone now, or drones, since early 2014, so uh, a few years now. Um, I love the things. Um, I've got uh, three of them: the um, the uh, DJI Inspire 2, uh, the Mavic uh, Phantom 4, um, and I'm thinking again the Spark. But yeah, I don't think I'll really need it. Um, when I flew this, uh, when I uh, the drone I used for this uh, video uh, is the Phantom 2 with the GoPro. Uh, and when I first got the, the, the Phantom 2, I thought, oh man, I'm going to capture some cool videos for you guys to watch of different uh, different parts of Japan, you know, and, and incorporate it into the, my normal videos. And and I've been flying around uh, my local area and city and uh, getting some cool footage and whatnot, and um, we decided to go to Tokyo. And I asked my wife, can I have about a day just to film some stuff? And uh, she goes, yep, cool. So I went to a few places. Uh, I went to uh, Odaiba um, and got to, uh, around Odaiba and Rainbow Bridge and uh, Tokyo Station, uh, Asakusa, which you've already seen, as well as Rainbow Bridge and uh, Shinjuku, this one here. Uh, back then, technology was amazing. You know, we, the drones could fly, well, I won't say fly themselves, but when they, you could fly them really easy and they could come by, uh, back to their starting point by themselves if they lost connection and, or battery was running low, they were amazing. But not quite as good as they are now. So I flew around, this, uh, around these places and I was scared shitless. I was really worried because uh, it was quite windy. Although I wasn't too worried about the wind itself, I was more worried about losing my drone um, and uh, losing the four or five thousand dollars that I invested in this here. Um, I I was worried that um, the wind was going to blow it and hit the buildings, and I, my drone would be gone forever. I, I wasn't worried if I killed anyone, if my drone fell on someone, or fell on a taxi or a car or a truck or something like that, or a person and and caused uh, bodily harm or anything like that. I wasn't worried about that. I was just worried about losing my drone and uh, the money I invested. And uh, that's all I was worried about. So, did I do the right thing? Nah, I didn't. I probably should have um, taken a bit more time to scope out the area that I was flying. I definitely shouldn't have been flying over roads like I am now and over tall buildings. Um, and although I did keep it in line of sight, I'm just uh, at the top of the screen, just coming into the top of the screen up there. You probably just sort of see me. Wait, no, you can't. Um, and, and I wasn't experienced enough to fly in a place like this. So should I have been flying? No, I shouldn't have been flying. And luckily for me, I took this video before the drone regulations and rules came in, before anyone had, had an incident, um, before I had an incident of, uh, of any sort myself. I've had incidents, you know, I've crashed into a tree here and there, but nothing where it's fallen out of the sky. Fingers crossed. Um, so the question people are asking, should they bring their drones and fly their drones in Japan? What's going to happen? Should you bring your drone? Hey, why not? Uh, you know, if you can pack it in your, your suitcase or whatever, uh, you know, and you need it, then bring it along with you. Can you fly in Japan? Yes, you can fly your drone here in Japan, and I'll leave a link in the description below of GDA's website that outlines where and uh, where, you, where you can and where you can't fly. Tokyo, unfortunately, is a big no-fly zone. After a few incidents uh, over the last few years, uh, it's basically don't fly here unless you uh, have lots of money, you're a film crew or something like that there, or you don't give a shit about the rules and just want to fly it anywhere. Um, can you fly to other parts of Japan? Osaka, there's places, but majority you can't. Uh, various other places in Japan you can, um, and uh, it, it, it's uh, you can fly your drone and get perfectly beautiful videos. So I'll leave that link in the description below to have a look there. Um, if you're going to to fly your drone in Japan, like I said, don't. You didn't hear it from me that you should. But if you're the uh, if you you're going to fly it without permission and break the ro uh, the rules, um, then you've got to make sure you're following as many safety precautions as 
possible. So you first of all, you make sure your drone's up to date, got the latest firmware of the, the drone itself, the controller, and the batteries, even your iPad or whatever device you're using to view the uh, the camera, okay? Uh, when you go out to, you know, to fly it, then make sure that your landing and taking off area is clear on the ground and above. Japan has lots of power poles, lots of power lines just flying everywhere, okay? Make sure that your return home is higher than anything in ar around you. That includes, if you go to places like this, where the buildings are 250 to 260 meters tall so if you get it behind a building it's gone it's going to smack into that if it's not taller than that building okay or tree or whatever it is okay um when you do to fly make sure you keep the drone in line of sight don't let it go further than 100 200 meters away from you because it's 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 a speck if it's like the spark or the mavic pro okay you're not going to be able to keep it in sight uh, and if you've got a spotter then great use a spotter to to keep an eye on your drone while you look at the t the, the monitor okay um, when you do fly, don't fly over roads like I am here. Don't fly over people if you can. Get uh, closer to the object that you want to fly so you don't have to fly over roads or fly over people or fly over the uh, bullet train tracks or whatever it is get closer so you're right next to the object and you just uh, you just uh, taking off turning the camera uh, drone towards the uh, the object maybe going around a little bit and and then bringing it back so you don't have to fly over too many hazardous uh, things you know like people uh, buses vehicles buildings those kind of things okay right um, and uh, don't be a dick <laughs> don't fly like you're crazy man just you know be nice and safe F lift it up get above everything go to where you need to fly it get your video bring it back and land it get you don't need you know 30 minutes of footage just get your 10 you know 10 seconds 20 seconds whatever it is and be back the longer you're in the sky the uh the worse it's going to be for you okay and own up to your shit <laughs> if you drop if it falls out of the sky own up to it admit to it take the blame take responsibility okay so just a few tips if you're coming to fly uh, your drone in japan don't fly if you don't not allowed to but if you're going to be, you know, the cowboy, then follow as many safety precautions as possible, okay? So, good luck, get some good shots, and fly safe. Anyway, thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed that video, um, and hope you get some good shots here in Japan. Anyway, keep an eye out for more videos, there's a couple of videos that you might see, uh, enjoy on the, in front of you, um, like, share, comment, uh, and uh, yeah, hope to see you in the next video. Later!